All right, this is going to be the how to do the baseline, steps one and two for the Civics Exploration 2. It's going to be familiar from the first one, video task. This is the, the PDF file that has the information. This video will be here, and then eventually there'll be a steps three through seven video. So here we go. I'm going to click there, and the PDF is going to open. Uh, the standards here have changed, but the process is pretty much the same. You get an initial credit for having a baseline, so just completing the baseline gets you to a D. And then by going and doing some exploration, you're going to move towards a C, eventually B. And then when you get that done, then you can move towards an A. So you come and see me for steps two, four, and six. You work on your own for steps, well, for step one is on your own. Steps three and five, you are welcome to work with a partner if that's productive for you. All right, I'm having a technical problem there, but I will scroll this down a little bit. Let me get back to my PDF file. Okay, so what do you need to do for the baseline? It says... All I want to know is what do you already know? So don't spend time doing research. Don't spend time sitting around not getting anything done. Just sit down and, and figure out what you know. Don't focus on doing learning. Um, you just want to focus on figuring out how much you already know. So the goal is not to finish depth three. The goal is to go deeper from where you begin. So depth one this time, based on what you currently know, can you identify the following citizen roles? Voters, just give me an example that shows me, you know what, what's the role of a voter in society? A juror, a taxpayer, the military, what kind of a role do they have? Protesters, office holders, people that are in the political office. Those are all different roles that people might play. You may get to some and think, I don't know what these two or three are, or you may be able to give me a quick description of each one and what they do. Don't spend a long time on these if you know what they are. Just put down a little bit of information that then you could show me, hey, Mr. Wetzel, I know what these things are. If we determine that you are still in depth one, you know, that'll be your baseline. That's where we begin. If we figure out, you know what, you're, you're beyond this, we'll look at depth two. So if you feel like you have a good grasp of depth, depth one, let's look at depth two. Based on what you currently know, baseline, can you describe the roles of the following organizations in shaping people's lives? Okay. Political organizations. How do political organizations shape people's lives? You need to know kind of what they are and how they affect things. How about um, civil organizations? Uh, what, what, how do civil organizations affect people's lives? And economic organizations. How do economic organizations affect people's lives? This is going to be a little bit trickier, and so you may not really know what these are about, but if you do, give me a quick description. If you don't, then you figure out, okay, I knew all these, but I'm in trouble here. I don't know what this is. If you've got that mastered, you're going to go down to depth three. Based on what you currently know, uh, can you evaluate the powers and responsibilities of citizens, political parties, interest groups, and the media? What kind of powers do they have? What kind of responsibilities? And so again, with the baseline, your goal is just to show me how much you already know, and then we'll decide, okay, that's where you should begin. Sit down, get as far as you know, and then you're done with the baseline. You want to come and present it to me before you go on and do any kind of research because we have to figure out what kind of research you should be doing. Uh, if you have questions about the process, please let me know.